willnisley.com Will Nisley. Whether you're watching on a TV, in class, on a desktop, a tablet, or on your phone, we welcome you to this special edition of CNN Student News. I'm Carl Azus. Today and tomorrow, we're taking an in-depth look at the dangers of distracted driving. The timing is no coincidence. Kids in the U.S. are far more likely to be hit by a car on Halloween than on other days of the year. On any day or night, there's more to pull drivers' attention off the road than there has been in decades past. CNN's Kelly Wallace shares the personal stories of some people who've been directly affected. Think about it. How often when you're driving do you see people checking their phones? And let's be honest, how often do you do it yourself while behind the wheel? And it's not just texting. Drivers are on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and now Pokemon Go. You name it. Drivers are checking their phones on roads from cities to rural communities like this one. Looking at your phone to read one text is the equivalent of driving the length of a football field at 55 miles an hour with your eyes off the road. One text increases your chances of crashing by at least six times. One text can have deadly consequences. Andrew is a perfect mom. She loved kids. I loved kids. We were going to have more kids. It was the high of life. We were settled, loving what we did, raising a family and, a new, and, and breaking ground on a new home. In a blink of an eye, was, our world changed. On June 30th, 2014, Andrea Bouvi took her darling girls, then 11 months and four years old, for a bike ride right near their home in rural Steen, Minnesota. Her husband, Matt, was doing some dangerous work on the family's farm. I had a two-way radio that uh, kept in contact with one of my guys to keep me safe, you know, and, uh, and all of a sudden, over the two-way, mom said, Matt, where are you? And I could just hear it on mom's voice right away, and she said that the, the Andrew and the girls were in an accident. 911, where's your emergency? What was that like when you get to the hospital and you see Claire? It was uh, something I'll never forget because I was told she's okay and I came in and she was sedated, sedated and uh, she had a breathing tube down her throat to keep her uh, lung from collapsing. And uh, it just, it was shock. It was complete shock. So it was, it was, it was horrible. No parent should have to go through that. What do you tell the girls? For any parent to go to their four-year-old and their 11-month-old and say, Mommy's in heaven is, is something, I don't know, that's been the hardest part, was to say that mom, mom is no longer with us. A driver, Chris Weber, a South Dakota National Guardsman and father of two, admitted he decided to make a payment on his phone. He says he looked down at his phone and heard a thud. He says he never saw Andrea and the girls. I failed number one because I was on my phone. I was distracted that day. I just knew he was on his phone. My gut told me that even before I got to the scene. I knew it. And it's tough. It, it's so preventable. I mean, we are addicted to our phones. Anything can happen, and that anything happened to us. Every day in the United States, more than eight people are killed and more than 1,000 are injured in crashes that are reported to involve distracted driving, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Distracted driving includes activities such as talking on a cell phone, texting, and eating. A recent study found that two out of three teens admit to using apps while driving, and that study was done before Pokemon Go. To get a sense of what it's like to drive distracted, we headed to the University of Alabama at Birmingham's Distracted Driving Research Lab. My friends are so fun on Facebook. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I just wanted, a friend of mine has this great picture I just wanted to show you. Ooh. So I would have been in another lane just by looking at friends. Decisions and so. Despina Stavrinos is the lab's director. Many of the times when you were engaging in social media, 
while driving, you were taking your eyes off the road for long glances. Those are those glances over two seconds that uh, significantly increase your crash risk. Matt's girls, Claire and Mallory, are now six and three. You must think about it a lot, Matt, because you could have lost all your girls. It's so preventable. Yeah, a blink of an eye. You think you can take your eye off the road a minute to read a text, to check an app, but a split second took my wife, you know, and almost took my children. My girls no longer have a mom. Uh, I don't have a wife, a soulmate. It's just uh, something that didn't need to happen, and it did. Here's a dirty little secret. It's not just teens who are checking their phones while driving. We parents are doing it too. In a recent survey, 56% of parents admitted checking their mobile devices while behind the wheel. How can we convince our kids not to do it if we're doing it ourselves? That's a horrible, horrible feeling to deal with. And the guilt that comes with it is awful. And it's nothing that I want anyone to have to go through or experience in any way. Laura Maurer visits the site near Brooklyn, Iowa, where her life changed forever two years ago. The mother of two and hair salon owner was driving along Old Highway 6. She pulled over, texted a client whose house she was headed to, and started driving again. I think I had probably gotten three miles down the road when she texted me back and it dinged three times and I don't think I even read the whole thing. I kind of skimmed it and set it down and when I looked back up, there he was. And I slammed on my brakes and I went to swerve and unfortunately I clipped that the tillery was pulling and that was it. A cross marks the place where 75-year-old Marvin Beck of nearby Malcolm, Iowa was ejected from his tractor. I held him in my arms, you know, and called 911 and um, his sons ended up coming and um, took him out of my arms and I think I called 911 again at that point and I was in the police car when we found out that he didn't make it. And What was that like? I mean, it's going to be impossibly difficult no matter what. I don't think there's an hour that goes by that I don't think about it in some way. Laura received a 30-day jail sentence, although 16 of those days were deferred. She is in the process of completing 200 hours of community service, sharing her story and warning others about the dangers of using a phone while behind the wheel. Even if I could just save one kid from not doing it or one person, I think at least that is a little bit of comfort. You know, open people's eyes and make them realize we need to change the way we're driving especially when you think about how many people, including parents, text or post on social media while driving. We're finding estimates of about half of all parents say that they drive distracted. So that's not really helping for where we're trying to get in terms of shifting the societal norms. If mom and dad are doing it, then hey, it must be okay. Sometimes the kids are the ones telling their parents to stop. My mom is a big Facebooker. So every single second, of, <laughs> she's always on her phone texting. And I always tell her, Mom, your kids are in the car. Mm -hmm. Like, it's one thing if it's just you, but like my little sister's with us. Can you just stop for maybe a couple minutes? It's amazing how many people will say, I don't think there's one person who hasn't been in a car with somebody who's been distracted at one point or another in their life. And if you can give any message to the, the Beck family, if they could hear, any message from you? I'm just so sorry. There's nothing I would ever. I mean, I understand. I can't imagine. I've lost people in my life, and I'm, I'm just sorry. I can't. That's the hardest part to live with, is that I took somebody's father and somebody's husband and somebody's grandfather, you know? You can subscribe to my channel right here. You can visit my website right down here. 
and you can view a random video from, from my channel right over here.